you need some engineering skills. Um, I mean, I can mix an album and I can talk to people about frequency. It's not a bad idea to have those skills because then you can talk to an engineer and express yourself in a way that they understand or express yourself differently in a way that they can understand. Right? So I'm, I might say to an engineer 20 years ago, the bass drum sound like, it sounds like it was recorded through a sock. You know, it's just muffly. And some engineers will get it and work with you. Some engineers prefer, I want you to cut below 80 cycles and boost at 320. You know, um, I like the fact that I can go into engineering if I need to. I'd rather talk more poetically in a studio if I can. And I think a good engineer will understand the people he's working with and not try to bust everybody's nuts on technical issues. Um, you need people skills. That's important to deal with the engineer, to deal with the drummer who hasn't been in the studio before and is freaking out, or the singer who's nervous, who now just can't hit the notes. Uh, you need to be calm in a crisis. Uh, maybe you only have two days to make an album because of budget constraints. And there's always budget constraints. So when some of the equipment breaks and the singer can't hit that note, you just have to go the other way and go, hey, it's fine. It's fine. Great. You nailed it. Because that's the only way you can relax everybody to a point where they might nail it. You know, And that's that's completely different than any technical knowledge. You know, um, if a singer is having a problem with a track, maybe it's the first song. I'll just say, oh, I know where this is going. And I'll just go, yep, all right, next song. And the singer's like, did I, did I get, did I get it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, you did. And so now there's a bit of confidence. And track number two is okay. Track number three, hey, hey. Now actually we are getting there. Now I'm not lying <laughs> when I say it's good. And after we do track number five, I'll say something like, oh, wow, uh, my bad. You know what? We don't, it's, it's not your fault, Steve, the engineer, whoever it is. It's my bad. Actually, we don't have all of that first take. Can we go back and do that again? because I don't want to expose my technique to the singer because I might be working with them again. I don't want to say, hey, I just lied and it was horrible because the next time you go in the studio with the singer, they'll look, are you, uh, he's playing mind games. You know. The studio is a submarine, not a sandwich, but uh, it's a submarine. I don't know what that movie is Red something. Red no, yeah, no. Crimson I don't think. Tide? Maybe. Like Denzel Washington. Yeah, and the, they're being fed information like the world's at war. Uh, send the atomic bomb. Oh, click, click. What? There's no, no more message. You know, um, you could send any information you want into the submarine. The world is now being run by Mary Poppins. Oh my goodness! Anything you want. That's your control in the information. And you have to try and do that as a producer. You might have the lead guitar going, you're hitting the wrong notes. Look, hey, let, let me deal with the talk pack. You're the, you create the flow of information to the singer. And uh, if the singer's singing too soft, you pull the headphone level down. They can't hear themselves. They just start screaming. You have to be careful. You don't want them to blow their voice out. You know, go the other way if you want to back them off. And then you're just dealing with people and equipment and trying to balance the two. Maybe you're just ready for this magical, here we go with the vocals, and the, something breaks. So you try and have some spares. You try and be prepared and deal with it.